Yo, what's up? It's Dre's aka DJ Anti Zero, and I want to talk to you guys. Let me try to remember because <laughs> I literally had it right before the video started. I want to talk to you guys about how dangerous, in my opinion, the internet is and what's about to happen based on what I'm seeing and viewing from everything that's going on right now. So I see negative comments. Actually, this video is literally about negativity. Well, kind of. I see negative comments on my YouTube channel, predominantly on my YouTube channel. I haven't seen them on my Instagram. I haven't seen them on my Facebook. I haven't seen them on my TikTok. I haven't seen them on my LinkedIn. LinkedIn. I haven't seen them on my Twitter. I haven't seen them. No, I haven't seen them. My okay. If I were to say I see a negative comment outside of YouTube, it's probably like once every ten months. Once every ten months. YouTube, as of recent, I've gotten at least about five, six in the past three weeks. Um, and I'm only highlighting that because from the amount of six negative, I have gotten about like 30 positive ones within that same, you know, time frame. So the ratios is crazy. TikTok. I begin mainly nothing but love. Uh, if not love, it's more so questions. It's not necessarily a, a negative or positive statement, but I begin a lot more love. Now, I say the reason why the internet is dangerous or YouTube or whatever social media is dangerous is because I'm not, I can see how it can mess me up mentally. Uh, just reading those comments, especially when the first thing I wake up to in the morning and I scroll um, to my notifications on my phone and before I even click an app, there's something on YouTube about some guy feels a type of way about either I'm dancing, what I'm saying, etc. Or a girl, however you identify yourself. And I sit here and go, at first I laughed it off. Uh, uh, the not recent one, but one a few, about a few days ago, some guy said I had crooked teeth. He was like, ooh, I must have got beaten as a child. First of all, that's the first time everybody said, said anything about me having crooked teeth. And to me, I thought that was funny. So I decided to share that. And then, you know, I had some people going like, ah, people are bad. And where is, where, where is this from TikTok? Because, you know... F that guy or that girl and not let me go say something. I'm just like, uh, I thought for more humorous. I can see why they said what he said. But I was like, I was thinking more humorous. So <clears throat> now when it's now I have another comment saying that, oh, uh, I need I need to take time away from dancing or I need to you know, take more years on dancing. And I'm just like, I'm twenty seven. I've been dancing since high school. I had a period, I have a mo I had a moment of on and off, and even now my dancing is filmed at two weeks because the time uh, the frame per second on TikTok doesn't keep up with the frame per second on what I actually record on. So now my movements doesn't necessarily match this uh, the record, so it looks like a whole blur when I wave, and I don't want to don't want that. So I two exit so the frame per second can actually catch up to my movement so i have to slow down my moving which now the music is slowed down so then now it's recorded i speed the music now speed up back to normal time but then i have to dance as if it's still in normal time which is very difficult like it's not I, it took me it took me about i want to say around seven months to get a, a better stability on that uh, it, it was, it, it was definitely difficult. Even today, like there's still times I still fumble on catching the speed, especially when it's a slow song, not to move really slow and then still make it seem smooth as slow. Because sometimes when I move slow, it has a little jitter to it because I'm trying to balance the, the motion. And I'm like, all right, well, ways around it is words, um, versus trying to really catch the beat or trying to catch 
part portions of the beat, but because I'm a lyrical dancer, I have to actually pick up more so the words than I have to pick up the beat. Because the the words actually are more sync and you can hear them a bit more clearer when you're in more slow motion pre-recording before you know it speeds up to normal. Anyway, minus all that. That, that's, that's all technical stuff. That's if you guys are interested in how I'm doing said, said things because of that reason. But I have done regular normal videos. If you go to some of my past videos where I'm outside, all those, or should say at least the majority of those, are normal speed. That's me dancing at normal speed because I'm only recording straight off the camera. There's no secondary app uh, like TikTok. I'm going straight from the phone, the camera. Then I take it, I put it in, in shot, and then from in shot, I suck the audio on it and then I chop it for it. Uh, TikTok, Instagram, etc. But I haven't gone outside in a while. One, because of COVID. And two, winter just ended. Spring just kicked in. And I'm still having like here and there like health problems. Not like concerning health problems, but I'm sick. But sometimes it's more stomach sick. Like right now, um, I feel like I have mucus in my throat. And I can't tell for sure. And I'm trying to be careful what I drink and eat because. Some things I drink and eat, I believe, had landed me to the hospital because of the stomach issue I had. Even prior, like, I stopped drinking tea because the last time I drank tea, I didn't go to the hospital because my appendix or something around my stomach region was acting up. They couldn't really fully identify what it was. And part of my assumption is, I every time I have gotten sick in that manner, it was because I drank tea. So, I let tea alone. I drank tea now because... I have something going on over here, and I'm minimizing it. I don't usually drink the whole cup, and now I'm drinking like half. And even then, I had I've been taking a lot of sodium for the last couple months, so I'm trying to slow down the sodium. So yeah, I have a here and there scenario. However, not to make this video any longer, <laughs> I'm no longer responding to negative comments, and I'm saying that because of the fact that I believe that. Doing what I did with the, the the crooked teeth example, and I screenshot it, and I blurred out the person's name, and I threw it on other like my other social media platforms for other people to say what they want to say. I felt like I gave light to negativity, and granted, if I'm listening to Gary V, you know, respond to everything, and I get that. And there there will be times I do respond to negative things. I'm gonna be real selective on the negativity though. My thing is. I feel as though, why do I, why do I give light to negativity? And to me, it's like, you know, I'm joking around, but the people that actually show me love should be should, given, shown, should be given love back too. So all the, you're amazing, you're a good dancer, I love your content, I love what you put out. Oh, you an Oscar winner. All them small jokes, but in between compliments and whatnot that people throw at me. Some could be, you know, hidden non-compliments, but I'm going to take them as compliments. Hey, regardless. However, why don't I highlight that? And that's something I came across, or at least mentally came across, just the, uh, literally the day after I put a negative uh, post out, but it hit me more just yesterday. Or to say the, the day excuse me, of, I threw out the other video of, excuse me, why I delete all of my dating apps. I'm burping like crazy. So, to be honest, guys, that's why I deem them to be scary, because I've, I mean, we all have heard artists complain about the internet and how people represent that way. I've heard uh, stories where people decide to talk of suicide because of Let's say a podcast doesn't air a certain day or X, Y, Z. And I'm like, that's, I want to say to each his own. At the same time, it's like overdramatic. Like, I get it. You might be in love with that artist creation, et cetera, or whatever. And they might make your day better. But honestly, that day comes up to you. And giving light to negativity doesn't help. Like, one, I, yeah, I can respond, but sharing it like as if like oh my god look at this as if it's a trophy but it's not a trophy because it's just more displaying of how much of a, a jerk that person is or whatever the case may be or however you want to look at it i should give way more light to love 
that uh, people have been giving me. And like I said, I'm going to most likely stop responding to the negative comments, but I'm not going to fully stop. Like, this is, I feel like there's a degree of what I should respond to, what I shouldn't respond to. Like, I don't need to respond to the crooked teeth uh, comment if I didn't feel like doing so. If you want to go on a rampage on the comment left and right and center, all that I do in my head, fake helps me because you're taking the time out of the day to give a comment and give my give me attention. I don't need to give you attention back. The only pre- people I fully, I feel like I deserve to give attention back is the ones that actually come in here, like it, uh, let be, let alone before even commenting or liking, uh, liking, just even viewing my work on a constant basis. Those people deserve way more love from me. Those people deserve the screenshots and for me sharing it and saying, oh my God, thank this person for, you know, giving me the time of day. The like is a bonus. The comment is an extremely, uh, it's extreme bonus. And I, and that, I, I just love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. <laughs> I'm not going to hold you. I love you guys. Uh, I'm almost at 500 subscribers. Uh, last time I checked, which was, I believe it was yesterday, I'm at 455 subscribers. TikTok, um, 2,787 subscribers. Uh, or, yeah, followers. Uh, if I, I'm going based off the uh, top of my head if I can remember everything correctly. I believe Instagram is 2,078. And I believe my Facebook and my fan page is 1,873. Could be wrong about that and then my soundcloud i believe it's a hundred i think it's a hundred or it's a 71 i can't remember which one it is all i'm saying is even with those numbers i appreciate every single one of you even the not even the negative comments i low-key appreciate because the fact that you still took the time out to leave a response most people don't want to leave responses just press the dislike button. Even then, you don't have to press the dislike button. You can just keep it moving. You don't have to view my content afterwards. And I feel like some of y'all come back with a dislike button. And I was like, okay, well, you dislike it. Doesn't mean that the YouTube is going to not stop showing you. You made a reaction. Therefore, okay, maybe it's just that one video that you did that you dislike from that person. So now you want that person to succeed, but you just don't like those videos. So yeah, that's a different turf battle. And uh, I also watched Kevin <laughs> Samuels. Um, I watched his live stream yesterday on Instagram and going over these two girls about wanting to be a wife, which I reinverted my head of, okay, how to be a husband. Am I ready to be a husband? Because I'm a parent, not apparently, but necessarily around this time, I would be a husband. And I'm not saying that I want to... Like, you know, have a wife and kids right now. Honestly, I've been preaching the same thing I've been preaching since I was, what, 18, 19, 20. If I'm not financially stable for to have any of these things, I'm not financially stable to have any of these things. The only thing I can say that I would like to have or I would want to have outside of family and a wife is just a girlfriend. Like, and with the way I listen to, I literally... literally Literally, guys, I've just wa- listened to, not watched, but listened to the Joe Button slash Kevin Samuels podcast. Well, Joe Button podcast was uh, special guest Kevin Samuels on it. It's about an hour and 30 minutes. Every aspect of life from a black man and black woman perspective is in that podcast within that hour and a half. I would love to deep dive into that conversation. I would love to to I'm actually thinking about replaying it while I'm at work. Um yeah I, I and the thing is like what he's what Kevin Samuel was saying and this actually goes back to uh why I say internet's a dangerous dangerous place is because you can lose yourself in the internet. You can lose not necessarily your way, but you can be distracted from your achievements and goals. Like, I got distracted. I was on a high path of, you know, putting out work, putting out work, putting out work, putting out work, and I was consistent about it. What happened was, my friends got to me in my head. What happened was, I started feeling more lonely, depressed. 
I feel like I and I'm like, and now I'm like, I'm not, reg I'm regretting, but not regretting at the same time. I'm just like, yo, I miss working. And not working in the sense like, you know, I had two jobs or whatnot, but I miss working in the sense of I'm fully dove into my career. And right now I'm not fully dove into my career because of the fact of I work and people want my attention. And I'm like, I'm nowhere near where I want to be at this age. Like, by now, in the back of my head, part of me goes, okay, maybe I'm, I'm still struggling. But that switch of me making even an average income, which I I, ever, I thought I made an average income. <laughs> I thought, I, as a black man, I thought I made, I thought at least I made an average income. I don't even make the average income. I thought by now, I would have at least made the average income I would have my own place, whether it be a studio or one bedroom. It would have been nice. I can just uh, do what I love doing for a living in that environment. And I can just go, in theory, based on my days with that. And in my head, I'm like, well, for me to live comfortably, and I, and I'm not saying, like, I, will, I wouldn't mind being rich. I wouldn't mind having the connections. I wouldn't mind having this. I wouldn't mind having that. I'm saying that if we're talking about my bare minimum of what I can accept for the rest of my life, 40 to 60K doesn't sound bad solely on me. Because hypothetically, 40, around 40K, 45K, if we're not talking taxes or whatnot, that's $1,000 a week. That's a lot. I can get a nice place for 1000 and then I can... My food budget is X amount. I don't I don't have a car, so I don't have to worry about X, XYZ expenses. Maybe if I did, then I'll find ways to increase um, my amount of money to me, for me to then afford a car. Like, I have everything. Like, I have, if I had that money, I already have it planned out on budget based on how I currently live now. And I'm like, and I'll still have some money for savings. Like, in my head, I'm like, I'm not thinking about retiring. Like, if it happens, and I guess it happens, but I don't think with retiring, I feel like I can do still something within the entertainment field all the way until I'm dead. If I end up not dancing no more because of whatever problems going on in my body, then I'll talk about dancing, or I'll make a podcast related to dancing, or et cetera, or this and that, the third. I'm too creative and I'm too wanting to do stuff as a quote unquote entrepreneur. I'm not saying I am an entrepreneur, but I I know for a fact I have some type I have tendencies of entrepreneur. I never fully I won't say that. I would say there's one moment where I definitely uh it was good probably like two, three years. I was definitely on my A game. Or at least in the, the spirit of actually doing stuff. And like I said, what happened? I started feeling lonely. I started hearing stuff around me and my friends wanted my attention. And to this point where I'm like, I'm doing the reverse. <laughs> it's like, yeah, now my friends want attention, but now I'm being a quote unquote asshole about it. I'm just like, what are you doing with your life to make yourself better? And then because I'm given that mental mindset Everybody's starting to flock away from me. <laughs> they ain't saying I'm wrong, but at the same time, they're like, yeah, Dre, you being mad questionable. <clears throat> so I'm like, I'm just at that point. So to me, yeah, internet is dangerous. At the same time, I'm, I'm too much of a, I'm, I, I went to the hospital for two weeks, not two weeks, I shouldn't say that, I had COVID for about two weeks, during the time I couldn't make, I could barely make any content, at least the content I wanted to create, and I, for some odd reason, the only thing that was on my mind was the fact that I can't do that, the job, I, 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 could, I could care less about the job, to be honest, I could care less about, I'm not going to say it, I care less about 
majority of my friends. <laughs> the friends that help me is a whole different story, but majority of my friends, I can care less. I can care less about anything outside of me loving what I do or loving those around me. I can care less. That's what happened in the two weeks that I had COVID. I, could, I, I literally could care less. I was highly frustrated. I was watching YouTube videos on how to improve certain things and do certain things. Like that's it. I don't want to ram. I don't want to ramble on you further. <laughs> that because I felt like yo. I, 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 yeah, man. Internet is dangerous. I'm responding highly less to negativity, and I'm gonna do my best to bring more positivity out uh, into the daily things I do. That being said, I'll see you guys in the next video, next vlog video, and this chat with you guys. Is, I'm not sure what it's going to be. Um, and I'm hoping that, to be honest, as I'm growing, hoping I can maintain and hoping that I can not fall um, in, in some areas of degrees. And I know, to be honest, the only way I'm not going to, I won't fall, quote unquote, won't fall if I educate myself. I just got to figure out where to educate myself um which i'm slowly doing I, i'm it's not necessarily self-improving but it is self-educating and that's something i learned literally right after high school is never stop learning no matter what age you are find ways to learn something whether it's a new skill whether it's self-improvement whether it is uh understanding um whatever the case may be Learn. Learn, 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 learn. Every single day, try to find something to learn. That's my takeaway. So, I'll see you guys in another clip or another video. Peace out.